What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You are probably a little confused because normally, right now, you would be seeing a restock video, but I'm gonna be doing a restock with me video today just to kind of see how I like it better. It's really a lot for me to do a restock with me and then a restock video all in the matter of three days. So I'm gonna try to actually like combine the restock with me video with an actual restock video. So you're gonna see how I make this slimes and then for some of them you're gonna actually see the finished product as well um, and I'm gonna like play with them give you ASMR things like that so it's gonna be a little bit different we're gonna see how this works um, see if I like this better or not so just bear with me but um, the shop is opening today at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time which should be if you're watching this video exactly when it's uploaded it'll be an hour after you watch the video so yeah let's go ahead and get on with the slime making unicorn hot chocolate this is the last restock that unicorn hot chocolate is going to be in and i'm a little sad i love this slime so much and it's so cute and it's color changing i don't know if you can tell because of the light but it looks like really light pink on the sides and then at the bottom here it's like a little bit of a darker pink when you mix it together like all becomes really pink um but it's just really cool and i love it Alrighty, I got some clear glue here. I normally like to start the week off with my clear slimes because those take longer to clear and debubble and all those things. So I wanna make sure that they are ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my clear glue. We're gonna be making Baja Blast. Now I know most of you have seen me make Baja Blast before, hundreds of times probably, but um, there are still some new unicorns that come through. So you may not have seen Baja Blast jelly before, but this is how I make it. Alrighty, so I have my clear glue draining into my bowl as you can see here. I'm gonna go ahead and come over here where I keep my food coloring and I'm going to grab my neon blue food coloring and my neon green because these are the colors I use to make Baja Blast to get that classic Taco Bell Baja Blast color, you know? Okay, I add six drops of neon blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I add in four drops of neon green. One, two, three, and four. And that's what I use to color one gallon of Baja Blast. Next, I'm adding in my instant snow powder. This here is about um, 24 ounces because I add in three of these eight ounce containers, but sometimes they don't at the top. So I say like about 24 ounces, um, but it could be more, it could be less some days. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this in. This is d uh, damp instant snow, so it is a little bit wet, but it's not like fully wet yet. I don't like to add it in dry either. So I just add a little bit of water to my snow and then I go ahead and I add it in. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything together. grab some borax activator solution and we're going to activate our slime just add it in a little bit at a time all right once you are done it should look a little something like this it should be a little bit tough and maybe even a little bit stringy but all of that is going to subside and go away as soon as the slime clears so we just need to let this sit for a while and the slime will clear up and this here is what it'll look like after a couple of days of clearing. It's nice, beautiful, and thick, and jelly-like as well. It's just so beautiful. As you can see here, this comes from that. So just trust the process, it's all good.
Alrighty, next up I am going to be making a buttercream slime, which is a hybrid between a butter slime and a cloud cream. So it has both clay and instant snow powder. And it is going to be called Peeps Buttercream. It's going to be scented just like Fruit Loop Peeps, which is one of my favorite scent combinations of all time. It smells so good. And it's going to be yellow because I'm going to put a bunch of yellow clay in it. And also I'm going to be dusting it off with some yellow iridescent glitter so that it looks like sugar that you know, usually comes with peep because it has a bunch of sugar. We know this, so uh, let's go ahead and make it. Alrighty, so my school glue is in here draining, doing its thing. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some things now. I'm gonna start by adding in some lotion and lots of it. These are the two scents that I'm gonna be mixing for the slime. So we have peeps, which I'm definitely low on and I'm gonna need some more of, and fruity rings, which is basically Fruit Loops. Um, they just can't say Fruit Loops because, you know, they'll get sued, copyright. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and add these into our glue. My scent is in, now I'm just gonna go ahead and let my glue finish draining because sometimes, you know, it gets caught in the little nooks and crannies. We just wanna make sure we get it all out, get our money's worth. Um, so yeah, I will be right back when it is done. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some yellow food coloring. I don't really need this, but I just wanna make sure this is really yellow. We are gonna be adding in some yellow clay, which will help the color as well. And now we mix. Totally almost forgot to show y'all, but I just added in some instant snow powder. This is eight ounces roughly, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that mixed in as well, and then we will activate. Now it's time to add in the yellow clay. We have a cloud cream basically here, but we're gonna make this a buttercream, so it needs some clay. Okay, both of my clays are in. Now it is time to mix. All right, this baby is done. She is nice, creamy, and dreamy. Gonna be such a beautiful slime once it's done. Okay, so I got my ice cream mold here. It's a little ice cream scoop, and I'm gonna drop in just a couple of these fake chocolate chips so that there will be chocolate chips in the ice cream scoop. Okay, now I have some green and some white clay. I'm just gonna kind of go ahead and swirl it a little bit before I drop it in. And it's gonna be just like that. Kinda got stuck to my glove there. <laughs> and just kind of press it down into the mold just like you see me doing here just so that we get a good ice cream scoop. And I'm not making it this entire size because this is huge. I don't know if you can tell, it's like half the size of my hand. So um, I just fill it up to like this part right here. I don't know if you can tell. Just this part right here, that way it can fit into the containers. Or else you would have a jumbo, like extremely jumbo ice cream scoop. Which would be fun, but I don't know how I would ship that. <laughs> All right, now when it's ready to demold, you just pull it out like that. And there you go, you have a little ice cream scoop. You see the little chocolate chunks there? You can really see like the texture of the ice cream scoop as well, like if it's an actual scooped ice cream. 
it's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this little container and just plop my little ice cream scoop on there. Look at how cute that is. And it gets sealed up like this and it's ready for travel. Isn't that cute? And that's how you do it on period. I just made this slime here. This is a school glue thicky base. It's gonna have some orange and pink marshmallow foam beads that I need to make. Um, and it smells delicious. It smells just like jelly glazed donuts and a little bit of coffee. It smells so good. This is gonna be called Dunkin' Puffs, kind of like a Dunkin' Donuts cereal. Um, and it's gonna come with some donut femo slices, of course, the orange and pink uh, sprinkles and orange and pink foam beads to represent, you know, the logo color of Dunkin'. And I'm excited for it. So let's go ahead and make those beads. Okay, so we're in my kitchen now and we are going to be making some marshmallow foam beads. Well, not making them, but we're gonna be coloring them. Um, I'm gonna be making four different colors. I'm gonna be doing two shades of pink, an orange, and a red. So let's go ahead and do it. The main ingredients, things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a bowl to mix everything in. You're gonna need something to mix with, so I have popsicle sticks. Um, you're also gonna need the marshmallow foam beads and then some acrylic paint. Okay, so I have my foam beads here in the bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Dunkin' Donuts inspired one, so the orange and the pink. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my orange. I'm just gonna take the paint. This one's running a little low, so I'm just gonna go ahead and empty it out like this. And you see it's just dropping in there like that. Can't really tell, but uh, it's doing some things. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and take my popsicle stick and the beads, and I'm just literally going to just mix it around. Beads are gonna fall out. I mean, it's gonna happen, so just keep mixing. Okay, so I have all, oops. I have all of the beads colored here, as you can kind of see, I hope. They kind of look like little Cheeto puffs. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this on a surface so that it can dry. You wanna make sure that they're kind of flat so that they don't stick to each other too much and that they dry evenly. You wanna also make sure that you have a lot of time to do this because it does take a lot of time and you need to at least let them dry for like 24 hours. So do this with plenty of time on your hands, okay? You can even mix colors if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in some pink and I'm gonna add in a dash of red as well because I want this to be a little bit more, not so like pastel pink, I want it to be kind of deep pink, I don't know. But I'm just gonna add a little bit of red. This will kind of just darken the color just a tad bit. And you just do the same thing and you just give it a good old mix, you know? Look at that. I love doing this by hand. It is a little bit tedious. It does take a lot of time. However, look at the vibrancy of that color. It's just so nice and beautiful. It's exactly the way I want it. So, gotta do this. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and empty these out so that they can dry. Just kind of flatten them as much as possible as well. Oops, you can barely see, sorry. Just kind of move you around right here. Just kind of press them down so that they can be as flat as possible. And here they are, they are done. They're gonna sit for probably a good 32 hours maybe before I put them in the slime. 
and yeah normally i would use like a foil to put them on so i could just throw it away after but i literally didn't know that i was out of foil until i started making them so i put them on top of these lids here um they're gonna be fine it's okay i can clean the lids um yeah i'm so excited so this one's for the dunkin Donuts slime the dunkin puffs and this one's going to be for cupid cereal which is the last minute valentine's day slime that i'm adding to the shop Alrighty y'all, well that is pretty much it for today's restock with me video. I really hope you all enjoyed this. I feel like I am going to like this a lot better. It's just kind of, you know, doing restock with me and a restock video all in one. Um, it might be a little bit longer than the restock with me videos are normally, but I feel like it'll just be more detailed and you'll be able to see exactly what's going into your slime, exactly when it happens, basically. And um, you're also gonna be able to buy an hour later so that's kind of cool so yeah if you are watching this when the video has been uploaded as soon as it was uploaded then the shop is opening in an hour if you know you're watching this the next day then the shop is restocked so make sure you go ahead and check out any of the slimes that you saw in today's video the link will be listed down in the description box below and that is pretty much it thank you all so much for watching i love you very freaking much and i will see you all next time bye